Video games are so unfair. Bosses always have so many phases, while you, the player, die without ever unleashing your full potential. So, I want to make a boss rush game, where not only the bosses have multiple phases, but you, the player, also do. First of all, I downloaded the 16x16 tile set by Robert. He said I could credit him if I want to. This won't be the final look of the game, but it makes the game and the video look not like a total piece of shit. And I did this for you, you know? So leave a fat like or I will cry. Hi, future me here to tell you that this is 100% the final look of the game. But still leave that fat like though. I picked out this little guy as the player, Yoinked Heartbeast's code for controller input and slightly animated him so it doesn't look like he moonwalks everywhere. I also wrote some code to make this little boy always attack in the direction of the boss, which for now is set to the middle of the screen. I did this by making the sword always look in the given direction while being invisible. This changes when you attack- NERD! Yeah right, only losers care about programming. You loser. Now, what is a boss rush game without bosses? Correct, it's just a rush game, but there's also no rush. And no game. So, as the first boss I wanted to make a mage. I gave him the mission to always stay a healthy one and a half meters away from the player, as well as the mission to run to the center of the screen if possible, so the player can't bully him off the screen. Then I told him to throw some fireballs at the player, but he was a little confused about how to do that. But in the end, he understood. Then I made the fireballs brutally murder the player. And after allowing the player to return the favor and giving him a cute little dash, I technically had a functional fight with no juice or sound effects or background. So I added some more stuff from the art pack, like the background and added some sound effects. And it still feels just as empty as my heart. Now I could change that, but I also could make more boss. So I made more boss. The second phase of the mage also shoots fireballs, but these aim at you every time the animation is finished. He also now yeets some balls to the torches, which somehow makes lasers, because why not? And now that the mage has a second phase, the player should get one too. So I made the sword bigger and gave him iframes on his dodge and made him faster. And thought, mm hmm, I need something special for this second phase, but I don't know what. So if you have any idea about what I could do, write it in the comments or something. I don't fucking know. While thinking about the third phase for the boss, I decided to add tiny lasers before the actual lasers of phase 2, so you know where they will do you an ouchie. Simply because I could take away these from the third phase, like taking assist wheels off a child's bike and watching it fall over. Ah yeah, good times. After making the boss's third phase, I noticed a big problem. It was terrible. Everything was going... Great! Now, you might be thinking, how is that bad? And to answer that, I will ask you, do you know how hard it is to write jokes? I hoped some stupid stuff would happen in the game and I can pretend I'm funny because haha, fireball goes in the wrong direction. But the worst thing that happened is that I tried to reload the scene and this happened. Do you know how desperate I am? I was going to write a joke about the fact that I almost said the player should get a phase 2 too. And that's just sad. Talking about player phases, we still need a third phase. I chose this little boy as the third phase and then finally something stupid happened. There's a perfectly logical explanation for this, but I'm not gonna tell you. A magician never reveals his secrets. Anyway, my idea for the third phase is to give the player a ranged attack by allowing him to heat swords. Without adding a cooldown, I got this, which looked kinda sick. But I can't have nice things, so I added a cooldown. And made him walk slower when attacking, so that's kinda cute. I also wanted to add an animation similar to the fireball explosion when the swords hit something, but I don't know what. That's not a problem though, because I still need to add a ton of polish and game feel everywhere anyway, so yeah. As you can see, the player's third phase is currently stupidly overpowered. But that's not a problem, as the later bosses will not stand still and just take the hits. 
as well as some other things I will probably do to balance the third phase. So subscribe for that or something, I don't know, goodbye.